Well, we're rolling, huh? I'm good. <laughs> hey, am I too loud? Are these... Let me turn these off. Let me take these out. Hey, I'm, I'm actually coming back to you because uh, I was talking to you about wanting to do these the uh, angles three times. I told you I pick all these corners three times. And, and if you look at that, you'll see I'm not picking the entire corner. I don't have to. The one side's pretty good. So let me get down here. I have a couple of corners down here. So I come in here and they're set up pretty good because we ran these yesterday with the mud runner. You saw us run these yesterday with the mud runner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch them up. I'm just going to make sure they're nice and clean and they're touched up and there's no gaps in there or anything else. So tomorrow when we sand, we just have to detail. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm working on right now. But I also want to talk to you about what happens what happens if you uh, if you all of a sudden thin down the only mud that you have? Well, let me put it this way. What happens if the cameraman thins down the only mud that you have too thin for corner beat? What are you going to do? I don't want to get too much on this case because he's editing the videos and I want him to look good. <laughs> Actually, I want me to look good. <laughs> so, uh, but what do you do? So this mud is touch-up mud. It's really thin. It, it's not thick at all for corner bead. And I have to run this corner bead. So what do I do? Uh, let's, let's look at this one right here. So what, I'll, what I will do is I'll come up to it and I'll put this thin mud on like this. And I'll make sure all of it is covered. All right? And I will flare this edge and then I'll just walk away. Let it sit. Let this dry up a little bit. I can do other things now. I can I can cross off I can cross off all of these lap marks, and I can do a, a bunch of touch ups. I, I have to touch up these angles too, and uh, so I just walk away for a minute or so, and I just let that set, and then I'm going to have to get right behind you, right here with this corner bead this too, because I have this corner bead to do too. So I'm going to put mud on all of this corner bead, like this, just bear with me, and I'll coat this in. When I coat this, and I'm going to let it set, I always flare the edge right away. It's easier to wipe it out, and I'm not going to leave a giant edge there. If I don't clear that, if I if I didn't clear that edge, and it dries up too much, I'll have a giant edge there, and that's not what I want. I do not want a giant edge, there, for sure. So this is this is hard to do right here. My wrist doesn't want to turn that way anymore. It did 40 years ago, but at, at 27 it was easy. At 40, 57 it's not. I almost said 47. I'm 10 years older than that. All right. So now I can come back here and I can I can lay my knife down and I can wipe it out and it's gonna leave enough mud to I won't oh look at what happened here. I have a problem there. Okay, it's gonna leave enough mud and I am not gonna have a problem with that. I should be able to go ahead and sand and detail that. Now here my my mud runner actually filled this in filled this in pretty good so I don't have to worry about this edge and leave a bunch of mud on this edge I just want to make sure it's nice and and tight and skimmed so it sands easy and that's what that's what I'm doing with a lot of this detail work right now is I'm just making sure it's going to sand easy uh, but this corner bead needs a fill it really does and if I try to just fill it with this thin mud and just try to run it out with the thin mud like I do with the thicker mud, I won't leave enough. But once I let it set for a second, and it, I don't know if all muds do this, I've just been working with pigment and plus three for so long and so many years, I know pigment and plus three does that. And it works well if I if I if the mud's too thin, it works really well if I just let it set a minute before I wipe it down. So that's it. Your cameraman thinned the mud too, down too much. You didn't have anything to thicken it up with. You can put it on there. You just let it sit for a minute 
and then wipe it down and that is going to be perfect. It is going to sand beautiful. It's going to look great, especially from my house. You have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.